just want to give you praise. Hallelujah. Everybody came to give them praise on tonight. Oh, come on. Can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you don't have a reason to praise him, I got a reason. Oh, come on, put your hands together. Come on. We came to Shabbat the name of Jesus. We came to lift up his name on tonight. Come on, let me see you move. Come on. Hey. I don't see y'all moving. Come on. Let's dance for the Lord. If you don't understand. Up, lift them up. I got a reason to pray. I got a reason. I got a reason to pray. 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 So many reasons. I got a reason to pray. I got a reason. If you don't understand.
Come on. We are victorious.
Oh, don't you drop your praise on tonight. Don't you drop your praise. Almighty God. Anybody loves to praise his name? Oh. I don't know about you, but I came to praise and worship the Almighty God. I came to give him everything that I have on tonight. Hey. We invite you in, oh God. Mm, you're not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. And that's just the way it is. You are not a God. You are not a God. By human hands. By human you are hands. not a God. You are not a God. That's today. dependent on any other man. You are not. You are, you not, are, not, you are not. You are not. By your place. your hands. You are not a God. Oh, by your plans. Hey. Oh, come on, tell him you are God. Hey. And you are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now,
you can get them in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And we give God glory for how he will use them. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus and name. they have been much anticipation. Oh, and they have been carrying uh, each and every one of you. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Glorious be unto God. My God. And so we're looking forward to what God will do tonight. My God. By his spirit in Woo. Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus Christ's Hallelujah. Name. Minister Kim, the excitement is in the room. It's in the air. People of God, you made it. The revival. You're here. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Mighty God. It has been building and building and building all week, all month, Minister Kim. Yes. As a matter of fact, all month, the prophet and the apostle, they came to Atlanta, Georgia. God had sent them on a mission. People of God, you are a part. You are the reason why God has sent them here to oh deliver, to break the yokes, to break up the fallow ground. Come on, people of God. Lift your voices. Give God a shout. You're in the house of miracles. Hallelujah. Signs and wonders. Him. God is going to move tonight. Oh, yes. God is going to move tonight in a unique, special way. I, I, I invite all of you. I encourage all of you. Take off the shackles. Take God out of the box. There's nothing impossible with our God. Nothing impossible. If you've come with an illness, if you've come with your mind being troubled, throw away, throw away your thoughts, throw away whatever you think, and let God move tonight. There is nothing. The Bible declares nothing is impossible hey. with our God. Come on and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we are so excited that this is the weekend Woo. for our training for rain. Oh it's kicking off tonight right here for Friday Night Live. Amen. Hallelujah. But it will continue on tomorrow. Hallelujah. We will have our training for raining. Woo! First time ever Yay! in Atlanta. <laughs> oh, my God. They told me people flew in. Uh, they drove in. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Because they wanted to be a part, amen, Hallelujah. of breaking this ground. My God. Amen. With training for raining. Hallelujah. With our dearly beloved prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our apostle. Oh, yes. So come on, let's bless the Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, buddy. Oh, God. my God. Hallelujah. God is truly spreading out his love oh, yes. to Atlanta. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful, amen, oh, yes. for the move of God. Hallelujah. You may go ahead and take your seats. Amen. 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 We want you to share this excitement oh, yes. with somebody else. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We have our YouTubers and our Facebookers. Oh, yes. oh my God. They're with us on tonight. Amen. And they tell me we've got Zoomers. Woo. Amen. That are with us on tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But we want to make sure that you're getting the word out there oh, yes. to everybody. Amen. Amen. Everyone in your contacts. Oh, yes. So go ahead and take out your devices. Yes. Hallelujah. Locate the live broadcast. Yes. We're going to get the word out there. Amen. Amen. Of what God is doing here in Atlanta. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Before yes. you share that link, Amen. you make sure you drop a comment. Oh, yes. Amen. And like it. Click the thumbs up button. We're on YouTube. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Facebook. Facebook. Oh, Facebook, we're coming. We're coming. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. We're on YouTube. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're coming on Facebook. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But we invite you yes. to go ahead, drop your comments. Yes. Hallelujah. Like the broadcast Amen. and then share it with all of your contacts. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. This is a lifeline for so many people uh, yes. and that one little act right there oh could help to save an entire life. Oh yes. An entire generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we invite you to do the work of an evangelist. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Throw out that lifeline, people of God. Throw out that lifeline. I'm telling you, many of you are here tonight because someone shared the link with you. Do not be shy. Everyone in your contacts, share that link. Share it, share it, share it. Someone needs to hear the word of God tonight. Someone is going through. Someone is troubled in their mind. Someone is saying, what shall I do? This is the answer. Share that link. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And after you share that link, as we always say, yes. we give you that opportunity to do the work of an evangelist Amen. on a global level. Amen. Yes. Amen. But we know that there are some of you that have testimony uh, already of the goodness of God Amen. and what God has done. So we invite you to come now at this time. Amen. Amen. We want to hear the, what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Amen. If it's a healing, a miracle, a deliverance, oh, yes. a financial breakthrough. My God. Oh, my God. 
God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to hear about it. Amen. Amen. Because it stirs up your faith. Amen. Uh, But it also stirs up somebody else's faith. Hallelujah. That if God can do it for you, Uh, oh, he can do it for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we invite you to come now to our right. Amen. Your left. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. This lovely lady, she will assist you over to our right. Amen. We want to get the word out there. Why? Because people need to know that Jesus still saves. Amen. 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 And that miracles are for today. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can come and share your miracle, share your breakthrough, Uh, share your testimony. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. To the glory of our God. And I'm telling you, the testimonies, they continue to come in. They never stop. It never stops. 24 hours, seven days a week. People of God, the call center there in the Bahamas, there in South Florida, the phones never stop ringing. People are calling from all around the world, literally all around the world. People are calling from Switzerland. People are calling from Australia. People are calling from the UK, all around the world, all over America. People are calling and testifying and saying, you know what? I connected to this ministry. I was going through. I heard the word. I reached out in faith. God healed my body. Wow. God delivered my mind. Come on. God brought my family back together. Hallelujah. People of God, do not sit on your testimonies. It may, as you said, Minister Kim, it may be helping someone. Oh, it may yes. uplift someone. Give them that one breath of fresh air that they need to go on. Share your testimonies on tonight. Do not be afraid. Amen. Oh, Amen. my God. We give God praise for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we know, I don't know how many of you, uh, this is our Friday night, I mean, yes. on Wednesday. How many of you were oh a part God. of Woo! the broadcast hey! on this past Wednesday Woo! night with our apostle and our prophet? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We are so blessed, people of God. Amen. That Wednesday night broadcast was so powerful. Oh, my God. And if you were not certain, amen, and you were not sure, hey. the word of God came forth from the man and the woman of God that yes. it is done. It's done in Jesus' name. What is done? Though that's for you to write, and you got a blank check. Whatever you believe in God Whatever for. Whatever you are believing God for, amen. amen. Yes. It is done in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Oh, my God. That affirmation came across so strong. My God. And you can believe God for anything. Uh, and God. for everything. And that night they prayed. Minister Kim, oh my God, they prayed a, for the people. Yes, it was so <laughs> powerful. The apostle said, he just came off the plane. He came with a ready word, people of God. Yes. And I mean, the word that night is always a special. It's always different. The anointing is always so different. That should show you the diversity. Yes. And I mean, the abundance of the anointing that God has placed upon the apostle and prophetess. <laughs> people are still talking about Wednesday night. Yes, they the are. And just judge. The scripture, I'm telling you, people of God, the apostle breaks it down. He gives you that word. And I mean, a, a child can understand it, Minister yes, Kim. Yes. It's so simple but so powerful. I'm telling you, people of God, you're in for it on tonight. Amen. Amen. And it's okay if you've missed it. It's right there on YouTube. Yes. And we're also going to encourage those of you who have not subscribed as yet. Amen. Please subscribe to Manny Nottage TV. Yes. Go ahead and subscribe. Maybe that's why you're not locating the link. But subscribe to Manny Nottage TV. Yes. Make sure that your name is registered. Amen. Amen. You click that bell so that when we send future videos, you're the first one to receive it. Amen. And oh, we've got a brand new baby. Hey, Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Right there on YouTube. Woo. How many of you have subscribed to Apostolic Warriors? Oh, yes. All the warriors. <laughs> Woo. Oh, we are so excited about that channel. Amen. Oh, my God. People have been asking uh, and asking, my God. when is our apostle, my amen, going to be doing the school of faith? Uh, when God. is he going to be teaching us? My when God. is he going to be imparting? Well, we've got apostolic warriors, Woo! an entire YouTube channel. Mighty God. Oh, my God. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. And we are so grateful for that channel. Oh, yes. Apostles Podcast are uh, on there. We powerful. were like, oh, my God. Hallelujah. Powerful, powerful. We have kicked it up a notch. Amen. amen. And we're excited about that. If you have not subscribed, yes. please do so now. Amen. Apostolic Warriors Woo. with an S. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And you will hear the lion roar. Oh, yes. <laughs> amen. amen. Hallelujah. The word of God goes forth so powerfully. And by the time Apostle is finished with you, you can believe God for everything My God. and anything. Amen. So we invite you. Go ahead and subscribe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. And as we said, this is our training for raining weekend. Yes. Kicking off tonight. Woo. Tomorrow is Saturday. Make sure that you register. Yes. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. And for those Manly Knowledge Bible College students, Woo! oh, you know you've got your special discount. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. You can ask. Amen. Or check your emails. Amen. We sent you a little love gift. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Register for tomorrow. We want to see all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. And also, again, we will culminate this weekend. Oh, my God. On Sunday morning. Sunday morning. morning. We'll be right back here. Back That's right. The They're like, you're still in Atlanta. My God. Yes, we are. Amen. We will be right back here Sunday morning, 10 a.m. at the Legacy Center right there. Yes. 3015 RN Martin Street Amen. in East Point, Georgia. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. So come on. You always want to hear the conclusion of the matter. Amen. Amen. Well, has everybody sent out the link? Have you done the work of an evangelist? Hallelujah. Oh, we'll give God a praise. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even as we continue now with our Amen. in house testimonies. Come and testify. Hallelujah. Come, come, come. Hallelujah. Come and testify Amen. to the goodness of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, Good Lord. evening, everybody. Good evening. How are we doing tonight? Amen. Praise God. I'll tell you who I am and where I'm from at the end, but first. I want to give God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. And I thank God for his spirit. He is my GPS. He is my person. I wanted to honor my apostle, my dad for life. He is God's apostle and our prophetess. Not the people's prophet, but will forever be God's prophet. Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nodded. Amen. It's extremely important that we clarify that because our futures, our destinies, our blessing, our healing, and our deliverance is in the womb of our spiritual parents. So I honor you today in Jesus' name. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick timeline. I went through an eviction situation in Boston. I was not at fault. Um, I came on New Year's, and I walked up to my apostle, and he said, Lynn, you need a breakthrough. I say, yes, Dad, I do. And the Holy Spirit said, put this seed in his hand. And I'm like, God, this looks foolish because I need this to do this to do that. But I went and I was obedient. And I put my hand in Apostle's hand. And something, man, something, all I know is that he spoke to me. He asked me what was going on. And then I was on the floor. I got my body up in Jesus' name. <laughs> we continued the service. And I went back home. And it went from interesting to worse to interesting. Went to court, was completely cleared of everything. They even had to write me a letter saying she was not at fault. Wow. So I testified at 6 a.m. prayer, but you know what? It's always, you can always hear people saying, K -k 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 -k. but for me, if I don't hear my apostle and my prophet is saying something, I'm still seeing I'm still seeing the rotation, like when you're waiting for your, for your, you know, your internet to, to log in, it's spooling, it's spooling until apostle and prophetess gives me something in my spirit. So prophetess said, hmm, looks like God is trying to shake you, it's a shift. I said, okay, come down to Easter. We're in Atlanta at the Signia by Hilton. Who was there at the Signia by Hilton? Woo! Fire Revival America! Oh my gosh. But anyways, man, the move of God, Friday morning, apostle just... He just unlocked something and like this vat of just fire just came up in there. And I said, God, whatever you have for me, let me be available. And I counted such an honor to serve on this altar, but I was able to slip into the sanctuary and I just knew something was going to happen. So I heard, put a seat at Apostle's feet. I put a seat at Apostle's feet, almost ended up on my face, got up, praise God. And I'm just like, wow, God, prophetess came out and it was just powerful. Fast forward to Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. The dancers dance, but prophetess was talking about being in the ring of fire, being a carrier of the fire. And I just felt something in my belly. Everyone, you know, we're not born to just go to a job and to answer to someone or to be a homeowner. I feel like God has birthed us and purposed us to do something great. But if you're not underneath the right covering and you don't know your elbow from your head, you're not going to get it together no matter how much money you got, no matter how much your degrees you have. So I was like, God, what is this? What is this? And all I felt was this. The Holy Ghost, I went down like two or three times and I got up and prophetess started talking about the temple in the Old Testament. And she was talking about being a carrier of the flame and something. And I was like, yes, prophet, yes, because I was reading about that. And she turned and looked at me and she said, my daughter Lynn, she said, she says, oh my gosh, she said, it's your time. And she says, you don't even know what you're doing. And I'm like, oh my God, 
I don't know what I'm doing. We can look put together, but do we really know what God wants us to do? I'm still waiting. You see the spooling, right? The internet spooling. So prophetess came, prophetess had the guys bring me over and she laid her hands on me. And my God, I, listen, I'm, I'm not a short girl and I'm not a thin girl, but all I know is my body was flat. I felt like I was dead. I think I watched that video like 10 times. Fast forward, prophetess was helping, well, prophetess, she is such a giving woman. She spent all weekend serving and healing the people of God, but she still took time to, t- to, to touch the, the workers and the servants after. And I was out in the bookstore, and the Holy Spirit said, go back in. And I came back in, and I'm standing there, and everyone's moving with prophet. It's like she's like an organism. She's laying hands. Someone's getting in part. It was just beautiful. And I'm standing there, and oh, I'm like, God, how is it I get to see this? So let me end this testimony because I, I can be long-winded. And prophetess came over to me, and she said, Lynn, you need to have faith. And she says, I'm not going to prophesy a husband to you because if you want that, go to apostle. But my prophet is a prophet, meaning that she could spend time talking about God bless me with a husband, but that's already done. But she, has, she wanted me to know that it was my time and I needed to have faith. She put something in my hand and she sowed a seed into my life and I just wept. Fast forward, I go home. I applied for you know, to help with the city of Boston. They give you a stipend when someone tries to get you out of your housing, they give you a stipend so you can pay first, last, and security. So someone um, put me on to looking at different apartments. I was looking for apartments in Boston, Atlanta, anyways. Someone put me on, I filled out an application for an apartment that was 12 minutes away from the airport in Atlanta. So they said, oh, fill it out. So I filled it out. I'm like, Lord, I don't know if I'm going to get this apartment. I don't, I don't know with everything that's going on. Someone in Boston said, okay, we can put the money towards the apartment in Atlanta. I said, but you can't take city funding from one state and take it to another state. Well, how about you know? This is since Easter, guys. How about you know? I get $6,700 for an apartment in Atlanta. I was approved. I got money to, to, to get me a, a U-Haul. I pack all my stuff up in this minivan. Man, because my apostle talks about walking by faith, yes. man, it's not easy. Amen. But I spent like two nights listening to Hebrews 11 <laughs> on repeat. I just had the audio because I'm like, Lord, I need faith. I drove 16 and a half hours with everything I own in a minivan. I took possession of an apartment on Monday, 12 minutes from the airport. So I just want to say, my name is Lynn. My umbilical cord is att- attached to this altar of fire and power. My apostle is my spiritual father and prophetess is my spiritual mother. And I am currently located in Atlanta, Georgia. God bless everybody. Woo! Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> We thank God for that testimony. Amen. Yeah, she didn't take a little long way, but she got there. Amen. Amen. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's when you're connected to a man oh, yes. and a woman of God of faith. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we give God praise for the favor. Amen. Amen. With that state and the city. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. Come and testify yes. to the goodness of our God. Amen. Amen. And we're moving quickly. Hallelujah. 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 I just want to say thank you for the opportunity for me to speak and testify tonight. Amen. I want to say thank you to God, my heavenly father. Thank you, my apostle and prophetess. I am so grateful. I am so grateful tonight. On Sunday morning, I received my deliverance. I've been crying out for so long. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. So long. Prophetess came over to me. And she said she sees such trauma in the stomach. And y'all don't know, but I've been through so much with my womb, fighting with the enemy, with my womb. And I told prophetess, I said, prophetess, I removed my womb. I was having so much bleeding. Sometimes I would bleed for an entire month. I would go to work and sometimes have to go home because I messed up myself. It was that bad. And it was embarrassing. And I've been crying out to God, touch my body. And prophetess said, I see such trauma in the stomach. And I had my womb removed thinking, you know, I had all my children, tubes tied. You know, I'm just going to take care of this because I had a fibroid 
that the doctor said it was too small to remove, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, fast forward. I was bleeding. Sometimes I would bleed for a month. Sometimes it would skip two months, come back, and it come back with a vengeance. And I mean passing tissue. It was terrible. And when prophetess said that she saw trauma in my stomach, although I removed my womb, I was still having issues with my stomach. I was still having pain. I was having so much pain in my leg, in my stomach. Sometimes the scar felt like it was raw. And I'm talking about from January up until, well, last week, because I've been delivered, praise God. Hallelujah. So I thank God for that. And then prophetess mentioned about a tree. And I was digging through my mind because my mother has so many fruit trees in her property. But there's one tree, there's one tree that's right between my mother's house and the neighbor's house that the kids would play around. And when prophetess spoke that name, I was digging and trying to remember, Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Lewis is the name of the, the person that prophetess called the name. She said, Louise, Louise, it's Lewis. Yes. Miss Lewis is the name of the person that prophetess was speaking about, that wicked neighbor. Anyway, to make a long story short, prophetess also mentioned about me praying for Harold. Harry, Harold, and I did not know who it was at the time. And my sister said to me, she said, could it be that you, could it be Errol? And when I went home and I showed him my video and I was testifying and I said, I said, Errol, I believe she was talking about you. Although she said, Harold, she said, Mom, my supervisor who visits from the States, he didn't know how to pronounce Errol, so he calls me Harold. He calls me Harold. And some of the co-workers call me Harold, the same name that Prophetess was mentioning that I'm praying for. So I just thank God for such an awesome woman of God. Yes. When Prophetess prayed for me, and she delivered me, and she touched my womb, and I went down. Where I tell you, I came up, and I'm not the same person that was down on the ground. I, I'm not the same person. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I received that deliverance. I received that healing that day when prophetess touched me. And who would think prophetess had a cane in her hand? And I said to myself, I said, God, you put that rod in me. Hallelujah. And I thank God for that deliverance. Hallelujah. I thank God for that deliverance. And I thank God for the fiery altar. And I just want to testify tonight when prophetess also mentioned about my business. Prophetess is a woman that hears God. She sees, she knows, God speaks to her, and every word that she spoke, I believe. I just want to say thank you so much, prophetess. I am humble, and I am grateful. You have something you want to say? <laughs> Amen. Good evening, believers. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Tishia. I am from this fiery altar, Atlanta, Georgia. Hallelujah. And as my sister just testified, I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I just want to say I thank you. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you, Prophetess, for everything that you're doing in my life and in the life of my family. I would not be here today, people of God. I don't care what the masses say, but until you wake up with a broken mind, you don't know where you're going to eat. You don't know if you're going to have an apartment. You don't know how to feed your kids. And God sent this man and woman of God to you. My sister was the one that sent me the link in 2019, and I got delivered that Sunday, that Monday I was going to take my life. People of God, but God saved me through the apostle and prophetess. That Sunday, I was going to, that Monday I was going to
going to take my life and my children's life with me because I thought God didn't love me. But when prophet has delivered me and to see she's delivering my entire family just by serving people of God, just by serving people of God, serve in the ministry. I didn't know I would be serving today, but what kept me here, I was pushing job or not. I was coming to this altar. Whether I had the money or not, I was still pushing my way to the altar. Sometimes I didn't even have money for a hotel, but I was still coming to this altar. And just by serving people of God, God spoke to apostle and prophetess to deliver my family and my prophet has delivered my sister last week that was an answered prayer I was praying to God for more answers people of God I apologize that's why I'm going over the minute but I have to testify today I have to testify how good God has been to me and that tree prophetess was talking about that tree my eldest son used to play in that tree he always used to play in that tree he always used to tell me about that wicked neighbor I didn't know but my prophetess through God spoke the word she was on point oh my god I thank you I thank you I thank you I thank you glory to God hallelujah hallelujah thank you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, come on, give God glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, give God glory. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, when we say a lifeline. My God. When we say a lifeline. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Glory be unto God for the lives that have been saved because of this ministry. Because of this man and this woman of God. My God. Come on and give God glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come and testify. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good night, believers. Good night. I'm Adrian, and I'm from Sumter, South Carolina. Um, I'm part of this fiery altar. I'm Amen. glad to be here tonight. I didn't get to testify at the Signia, so I'm testifying tonight about the favor of God. Hold um, your mic all the way up so we can hear you. I'm sorry. There you okay. Go. You hear me now? Yes, ma'am. All right. So I sowed the seed last year for the seed of the oil favor. I was online watching the service. Well, prophetess on 6 a.m. prayer in February talked about somebody. Oh, excuse me. God, I, God, I thank you. And I honor apostle and prophetess. And I will continue. Um, so in February, she gave a word. She said, there's somebody on this prayer line that got the job, and then it fell through. Well, she was talking about me. So that was in last year. So February, and I would always call the prayer center, like when I had my interviews and different things like that. But I didn't call it this time. I said, it's my season. It's my time. I, talk, I listened to prophetess talk about your birthday month. So I start celebrating from February. I went for the interview, but the same week, I got the job. Amen. And not only did I get the job, God showed favor so much so that I was able to have the Friday off to come to Atlanta, Amen. you know, after my birthday. And I said, okay, God, God is good. Well, the favor continues because I asked God, I said, God, everybody talking about this white envelope. Where am I? You know, you got to be real with your daddy. So it showed up. It showed up twice. Not once, but twice. This year in the month of February. So I thank God for favor. I thank God for this fiery altar. And not to mention and to shorten my testimony, I thank God for removing the spirit of suicide off my family. Because in 2010, the enemy took my nephew, the only nephew I had, and it hurt that, our family greatly. However, that spirit was still circling around in the family. So it showed back up in October with his sister. And I was like, the devil is a liar. We don't take that. I got my altar. 
I know I be on 6 a.m. prayer. So I called the prayer center. They prayed with me. She went in the hospital for the observation. She come back and she called and she said, Auntie, I'm better. I'm not defeated. I'm going to go on. Amen. So I thank God Amen. for that spirit of suicide being broken off my family. And I thank God for this fiery altar. And I have many more testimonies. But that's my time. Hallelujah. Bless you. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. For this lifeline. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank Come, let's continue God. now with our in-house testimonies. Amen. Come on and give God the glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah for what he has done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hello. I would like to um, say good evening to Apostle and Prophetess. Amen. On Wednesday night, uh, I was watching the urgent prayer with my mom, and Prophetess was making, like, 911 urgent prayer. And I was supposed to receive money for my daughter, and I kept on calling, kept on calling, kept on calling to see where's the money for my daughter. And I came to an agreement with um, Prophetess to get my money. And I said, God, if I get this money, I will drive my four hours to Atlanta. And I called back after the urgent prayer that night. I called back like about 10 o'clock the next morning. And they said, your money's released. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And with the amount of money that was supposed to rele release, okay, I got that portion, and it doubled by like about five percent. Instead of getting the fifteen hundred, I got I mean, the fifteen hundred. I got about thirteen to fourteen hundred thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars because of the urgent prayer, and I came to an agreement and God fulfilled my promise that wow. night because of the urgent prayer. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Mighty God, glory to God! Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Amen. I want to say a pleasant night to each and every one of you. Greeting you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. A pleasant good night on Apostle and Prophetess. I just want to say thank God for this powerful altar. Because of this altar, I am alive standing here today. And my children is alive here today. Because in 2018, I lose my big son to suicide. And because where the enemy is attacking me so much, he's attacking my children. So I thank God because of this altar, um, the 6 a.m. prayer, prophetess teach us how to pray and teach us how to fight. Yes. So last week Sunday, I get a phone call from my daughter-in-law stating that my second son, he's trying to commit suicide. And I said, in the name of Jesus, it is not going to happen. In the name of Jesus, it is not going to happen. Satan, you took one of my kids, and he's not going to take the others in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I told my daughter, I said, I want you to call the prayer line. She tried calling the prayer line. She didn't get anyone. I said, you know what? I'm going to say, do exactly what it is prophetess say. We got to be on a warfare. I started to pray. I walked from corner to corner from in my house, and I said, Satan, you are not going to kill me. You are not going to kill my children. You are not going to kill my grandchildren. You didn't bring me here. You will not take me out. You will not take out none of my children and them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank God today because of this powerful altar that I am alive here standing. Because I'm in a fight, a big, big fight. And I thank God that I am not giving up. I am not going to give up because... God, he brought me a mighty, mighty long way. And I thank God so much, and I'm so grateful for you, um, Apostle, and I'm grateful for you, Prophetess. And I just want to give God all the honor and all of the glory that my son is alive today. Hallelujah. And my four other children is alive today because of this powerful altar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some thanks and praise. The ability to save a life, only God can do it. Only God can do it. And he's doing it through our pastors and the persons of Apostle Dr. Edison and Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nardi. He's literally saving our lives, saving our families, delivering our families. 
people of God, we are blessed. Do not let go of the altar. Amen. Come and testify. Hallelujah. Clap your hands as she comes. Hallelujah. Come and testify. Come on, give God praise. Come on, share the good news. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Testify. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good night, church. Good night. Good night, good night to our apostle and prophetess. Good night. Thank you for having me here and the opportunity to speak. And I want to give God thanks for being here tonight. I am originally from Trinidad, living in Irvington, New Jersey. As the young lady said, I have four kids, two in America, two in Trinidad. But my daughter in Trinidad called me one night and she said to me, Mommy, something is not right with me. And while I'm talking to her, I realize she's not herself. You know, she's talking some things that I didn't understand, which I know I see here in the church. And I'm like, something is wrong with my daughter. I said, you know what? Play the prayer. Prophetess prayer. Keep praying, prophetess pray. She's, the morning I called, I was praying for her, you know. But my prayer life is not as it used to be before. But now I'm getting there. Through the prophetess, I am getting back there. My life was up here going down there. But I thank the Lord for prophetess. Today, that the 6 o'clock prayer, I can get up and pray, you know. My daughter, the morning she called, I called her, I said, how is everything? She said, mommy, I did not sleep. And then she's talking some things that I don't understand, which I understand, but I didn't understand. You know, when it happened to you, you yourself, then you realize, oh my God, it hit home. She was talking and you can hear the demon talking. And they said, oh, they tried to take me out last night. They know the church and her mother, they try to take me out, but I'm still here. And I said, keep praying the prayer, keep praying the prayer. And I said, you know what? She said, mommy, put my picture on the altar, put my picture on the altar. I had the favor oil. I covered the oil, the picture with the oil. And I called the prayer center. And I said, please, something is happening to my daughter. I don't understand, which I know I did understand, but I know... At that moment, these things come to your mind. I said, something is wrong. Could you please take her to apostle and prophetess in prayer? Please, something is wrong. So I know they were praying for her. And I start praying my prayer at home. And she's in Trinidad. And I know something is not right. And I said, it's going to be okay. I know they're praying. And I keep praying too. And they're praying and they're praying. I know they're praying. I called my apostle and my prophet says, so don't leave us like that. And I know they've been praying. And I give God thanks today. My daughter is doing good. She was living with a guy unfaithful. They were not married. She moved out the very next day out Hallelujah. of the house. Yes. She moved out of the house with Hallelujah. that guy. She left him. And she moved her stuff out. She's living by my brother right now. And I want to give God praise and thanks that my daughter gave her life to God. Hallelujah. She turned her life around and yes. she said, Mommy... I just want to live for God. It's so much people out there that need help. I said, please don't go there and touch no one. Don't touch because you're not there yet. But we'll keep on praying for you. I have you on the altar and this fiery altar here. That, oh my God, we don't want the light to out, mighty God. This fiery altar. And I thank the Lord and I thank Apostle and Prophetess tonight. I give you praise and Hallelujah. Thank, thank the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, come on, give God praise. Thank you, Lord. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Even Mother as God. we continue with our in-house testimonies, testify. we bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Oh, Jesus. my God, for saving lives. Amen. Oh, my God, we give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and testify. Good night, church. Good night. My name is Dorothy. I'm from, I was born in Jamaica, but I'm living in New York. Amen. I would like to give honor to God, who is really the head of my life and who is He's everything to me. He's my all in all. And I would like to give honor to Apostle Dr. Edison Nottage and Prophetess Dr. Maddie Nottage. I would like to say, God is so good. I'm so happy that I am a part of this fiery altar. I'm so glad the time, the day when I met, when my friend had um, really give me, they sent me the link because, because of that, 
right now because I was going down in destruction. My life was going down. And because of this father altar where prophetess had taught us how to live a holy and a true life. And that's why I'm alive today. My testimony is um, because of this fire altar and because of the 6 a.m. prayer and because of the prayer from prophetess. Um, one morning she, ha she had prayed every morning in the 6 a.m. prayer. Thank God for the 6 a.m. prayer. Amen. Thank God for the 6 a.m. prayer. Thank God. She, every morning after the prayer, she had covered us and she had covered our family and each and every one from accident and everything. And because I'm a part of this fire altar, my grandson, he had, a, he had an accident. And the car was total. And he came out without a scratch. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, the Jesus. car Hallelujah. was total, my total, God. total. My God. And he came out without a scratch. Oh Nothing. He, his mother, she didn't know what, how he came out. So I told her, because I'm at, attached to this fire altar, because of this altar that I'm attached to, that's the reason why. And because the prayer from prophetess, she prayed for us, and she always prayed for our family. And because of that, I can say, thank God. I'm not grieving for my grandson. That's right. That's thank right. you, Jesus. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on and stand thank to your feet. You, let's Lord. give God thanks and praise for all of those powerful testimonies. Come on, let's Woo. give God some glory. Let's bless the Lord for the saving power of our God, I'm saving our families, I'm saving our lives. Our God, God is so good. Woo. God is good. God, God is good. good. God is good to me, how could I let him down? Oh, how could I let him down? How could I let him down? He's been so good to me. My God is so good. God is good. Oh, God is good. God is good to me. Oh, how could I let him down? How could I let him down? He picked me up. He picked me up. He turned me around. He placed my feet on. Oh, how could I let him down? How could I let him down? He's been so good to me. He picked me up. He turned me. He placed my feet. How could I let him? How could I let him down? He's been so good to me. God is good. God is good. God is. God is good. 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 Say, oh, 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 who in the morning? Jesus. Who in the belly? 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 Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Hallelujah. We give God praise for all of our testimonies. Yeah. And we will continue now, amen, with our Believer's Faith experience. Our media department has prepared a video presentation showing some of what's been happening and some of what you can expect. Amen. So without any further ado, our video presentation by our media department. Dr. Maddie Nottage's training for reigning school of deliverance for prophetic seers and warriors is back April 20th to the 21st, 2024. It's time for the next level, next level demonstrations, next level deliverance, next level revelations, and much more. Topics include breaking curses, defeating witchcraft spirits, the gift of prophecy, interpreting dreams, and much more. So this fella, he looks like a warrior. He looks like a soldier. Ah, he looks like he's fully ready, eh? Hey, I am ready, mustache and all. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to do something. I've got my bullets. I got my weapon. And what the Spirit of God is saying now, he say, you could look clad and dress all you want. You better make sure that somewhere in this pants or in this underpants there's a gun a grenade or a stick of dynamite because as soon as the enemy see you looking like this as soon as the enemy see you looking like this they come in the fire on you training for reigning is online via zoom for registrants anywhere in the world however you can attend in person at our Georgia, South Florida, and the Bahamas campuses. Those in the Georgia area can attend at the Legacy Center 3015RN, Martin Street, East Point, Georgia 30344, USA. Visit our website at www.maddynottage.org or call us at 1-888-825-7568. Lead Lecturer, Dr. Maddie Nottage is ready to impart and empower you. Online registration is available for international students. It's time to become spiritually equipped for battle. Register now. You don't want to miss this. Dr. Maddie Nottage's training for reigning school of deliverance for prophetic seers and warriors, April 20th to the 21st, 2024. We came to be revived. I made you to be the lender. I made you to be a pop. He said, call yourself, even though, hallelujah, he said, even though you don't have it, call yourself as though you, as though you have it. Count yourself as though you already have it. Come on, apostle. This is good, apostle. He said, let the weak, let the weak, don't say I'm weak, because God don't see you as weak. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. I came here tonight loaded. I came loaded. I came supercharged. Am I talking to somebody? The devil better not mess with you. And he saw as heaven better not mess with me. I got weapons on every side. Everything the devil thought he stole, he had to give it back. We delivered. The ministry of Jesus will spread to every nation. We are coming. Come out! Manifest and come out, you devil! Come out! Loose them! Who's in the construction field? Jebe Ketereba, you? You in the construction? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Javan de la Basaya. But this is amazing because I see an angel of the Lord going up to the roof. Praise God. Climbing and scaling the buildings. Praise God. And going up to the roof. Praise God. Amen. Get out of here. 
Can anybody see this? And for those of you that are watching us all over the world, you just gotta land in Atlanta Airport and turn your GPS on. The fire doesn't stop. It continues this weekend. Will I deliver you from the dreams of darkness? We're on the move, taking this mission higher and we're not stopping. Visit our website at believersfaith.com to find out more. Je ne kena bakara kasa i saw you al pari in a lot. Yes. I see a truck and I see I see someone driving this truck, right? A truck. Like a real truck. Who's driving the truck? You? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I saw that enemy was trying to, he was driving and the enemy crossed the truck and like almost like, and then you almost had a serious accident. Praise God. And God said, is this true? Is this true? Yes. Uh -huh. You see this thing like you call here? Praise God. Amen. I don't know who's gifted to do it in the family. Uh, yeah. Is you? I'm a hairstylist. Get out from religion. Your time of visitation has come. God has brought his prophets to deliver you. Hallelujah. Ah, come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on, stand to your feet and give God praise just for one minute. Everybody get on your feet and give God praise. Come on and honor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Atlanta. Come on, let's praise him. Come on, let's praise him. Come on, open your mouth. Let a sound come out of your mouth. Let a sound. Let a sound come out of your mouth. Shout unto the Lord. Shout unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your spirit, lift your spirit, lift your spirit. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shout unto the Lord, shout unto the Lord, shout unto the Lord. Shout with a voice of triumph, shout with a voice of victory, shout with a voice of overcoming. Somebody make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Open your mouth. Make a joyful noise. Give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and bless the name of the Lord. We praise our God. We honor our God. Hallelujah. 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 We are just so grateful. Go ahead. Take your seats for a minute. I'm only going to be a minute before you, hallelujah, because we want to get our prophetess up and on, but we give God praise, hallelujah. Anybody excited to be in the house? Now, 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 as I, as I scan the audience, I see some people look a little timid, a little, are you cold or some, are you cold? Is the air too cold? You all good? Some people really look like they're cold or they're afraid. I don't know what's going on, hallelujah. But listen, you are in the house of God. There's no reason to be afraid when you're in the house of God. You ought to be excited when you're in the house of God. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, come let us go into the house of the Lord. And this a Friday evening. Boom. The people I'm tired of working. Hallelujah. So we came into the house of God to give God praise. Now, any, hold on. Anybody came to praise God tonight? That's only, that's only half of the people. That's only half of the people. Anybody came to praise God tonight? Anybody came because you know God is good. That you know God is good. Because God has been good to you. Hallelujah, that's why you're here, because God has been good to you. You came because if it had not been for God on your side, you don't even want to think where you would be tonight. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So if that's why you came, open your mouth and give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 All right. All right. Take your seat. We, we just want to run over a few things and then I'm going to get out of your way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all, now y'all already established. We established. We came to see God. Amen. That's who you came to see. Or y'all came to see me. Because if you came to see me, that's all you're going to get is me. You're going to get to see a handsome guy, but I can't do nothing else for you. But if you came to see God, God could do something for you. Hallelujah. God could change your whole story tonight. He could turn your whole life around tonight. So, so look at the person on the side of you and say, please smile, please smile. Say, please smile. Let me, let me just, hallelujah. Say, smile. You look too serious. Man, these, air, these, air, these AC's blowing. My God. I think we need to turn them off. I think the people call. That's why they ain't shouting. That's why the freezer, you know, your freezer is very quiet. Because everything in there is cold, frozen. We don't want no frozen people in here tonight. So say, loose, tell the boys and loose yourself, loose yourself. God is about to touch down in this place. Hallelujah. Now I know if you live in Atlanta and you follow the Atlanta, what the Atlanta football team name? The Falcons. You all ain't see a touchdown for a long time, but <laughs> it's, it's about to change. It's about to change. Hallelujah. It's about to change. Things are about to get better for your teams in Atlanta. Well, the, your, your baseball team you usually do pretty good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the football team, oh my God, they need a, they need a touch. If you know anyone on that team, invite them to come to church. Tell the coach he need to bring the whole team to church. Prophets need to pray for them. Invite them, and their whole season will change and turn around. Their whole, this new year will be the best year they ever had. Hallelujah. All right, all right, all right, all right. But we, 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 we want to invite you. You heard training for raining, training for raining, training for raining. Many of you may not know what that is, but this is the first time we are actually hosting it in Atlanta, Georgia. The first time. Hallelujah. It's the first time. And so we don't, we, we don't want none of you to miss it. It's tomorrow morning. We don't want nobody to miss it. Amen? It's a registered event, right? But we want you, if you have not registered, please, and you really want to be a part and see what God does in this, in this series, in this training for reigning, hallelujah, meeting. Before you leave this place tonight, there will be some people at the back. Go and talk to them to make sure you are a part of training for raining in, uh, on tomorrow morning. We don't want nobody to miss it. It's a powerful, powerful, it's, like, it's almost like you're in school. Hallelujah. And, and prophetess just take time to break down whatever topic she's dealing with. Amen. Uh, and as you see, as the clip that they showed tonight, she's talking about being, hallelujah, I'm ready. And, and all of you in here tonight, some of you, are so armed. You don't know how armed you are. You don't know. You have some weapon that God has given you, and you just don't even know how powerful your weapons are. And, and some of you know the power of the weapon, but you don't even know how to use the weapon. That's why the devil is beating you and whipping you. Hallelujah. And getting victory over you. Do you know that the devil is not supposed to get victory over you? Do you know that? Because God says, behold, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. So anything that the enemy shoot at you, you have the power to stop it. You have the power to block it. Hallelujah. God has already given you that power. But some of you don't know that. Hallelujah. Some of you don't know that. You know, if you listen to the news and you listen recently and you heard how Iran, they, they fired all of those drones at Israel. But not one got through. Not one did no damage to Israel. Why? Because they had a defense. And that defense blocked over 300 projectiles that was fired. None of them were able to reach their mark. 
Well, you have, that, you have a better defense than Israel. God has given it to you. Hallelujah. But you got to learn how to use the weapons that God has given you. And this is what training for rain is for. It will equip you. Hallelujah. And teach you how to fight and how to get victory over anything that the enemy try to send at you. Amen. So please do yourself a favor now. This ain't for nobody else. If you have not registered, go before you leave tonight and find one of those people in the black, in the, you all wave your hands in the back there. One of those people who, yeah, find one of them and get registered for tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. You don't want to miss it. The first one, amen, in Atlanta. This one is for you. Hallelujah. So be a part of it. Please be a part of it. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. It's going to help you. Amen. There's nothing better than the one on Saturday morning. Amen. That's the lady right there in the green. Hi. Where you was just now? No, no, no. Your body is here. Where were you just now? You was thinking about... No. Okay. Okay, don't think about your son. Think about God. And put your son in God's hands. God's going to deal with your son. God's going to fix the problem. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So don't see, 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 you could be right here. This is what I'm talking about. You're right here in this anointed service. But you're, the devil got you thinking about your son. Thinking about him ain't going to do nothing for him. But if you say, God, what is his name? Edwin. Edwin. I put Edwin in your hand. Yeah, uh, yeah I put, that, put Edwin in God's hand. Yeah. And allow God to deal and fix whatever. Edwin is faced with tonight. Yes, A amen? Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen? Yes. So you're here now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Touch your boys on the everywhere. Everyone, touch your boys on the side of you. Say, say, come into the service, please. Your body is here. Now bring your mind. Bring your mind. Bring your mind. Your mind, wherever your mind is, bring it into the service. Hallelujah, because God is trying to get a word to you. But if your mind ain't here, you're going to miss the word. Amen? Amen? Amen. And so, like I said, let's sign up. If you have not registered or signed up for training for reading, let's get registered. Let's get signed up. Hallelujah. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. And then Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Like I was saying, you have nothing better to do on a Saturday morning. Amen? Nothing better to do. Come and come to church. Amen? Don't worry about the, don't worry if the house is a little dirty and that's your cleaning day. That won't be the first Saturday you went without cleaning the house. Amen? So don't worry, don't, don't, don't get too worried about that. Or you can clean it later on in the day. You will have more strength to clean it when you go home. Amen? Don't worry, but whatever you had planned, come to the house of God. Amen? Uh, uh, the seventh, they call it the Sabbath day, but they, you know, they a little mix up with the Sabbath day. This is the real Sabbath day. Tomorrow is the real Sabbath day. Come here. Hallelujah. And let God speak to you and get you ready. Listen to me. How many of you believe that Jesus is coming back? Jesus is coming back. And we got to get ready. We have to get ready because he is coming back. So, you know, if you are, if you are too distracted with everything else that's going on, and you're forgetting about God, you're making a big mistake. If you're spending too much time waking on everything else and you're leaving God out, you are making a huge mistake. Hallelujah. This is the time now where you should, your everything, your first priority should be God. Amen. You say, well, Apostle, I don't know about that. Well, I'm going to tell you about that. Amen. The Bible said, seek. First, all of us know it. Come on, let's say it. Most of us know that. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his way of doing things. And then everything else will be added unto you. Amen? You say, well, apostle, I know that scripture, but I ain't have no house yet. That's because you ain't put God first yet. Amen? You, you, you're so busy trying to get the house. But if you get busy trying to get God, God will make you get the house. God will give you the house. See, we, we, like, we, we, we like to put the cart before the horse. 
No, no, put God first. He said, if you seek first the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, God's way of doing things, then everything that you need will be added. Amen? When I learned that scripture, when I began to apply that scripture, that's how my life changed. Amen? When I put God first and I began to go after God and do it God's way, then God gave me a wife. Hallelujah. God gave me a wife. He didn't give me a knife. He gave me a wife. A beautiful wife. Amen? An anointed wife. See, he gave me a wife that I can go to Australia and spend a year in Australia and I don't have to worry about nobody else sleeping in my bed. Hallelujah. Tell me you are looking at me strange. But it's the truth. So he gave me a good woman. So that's when I learned to put him first. Then not, 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 not only did he give me a woman, he blessed me with a nice house. Oh my God. Woo. Can I testify? Man, can I testify? Let, let me come down here and look at some of your faces because I don't know what's going on. Hallelujah. Now I see a lot of faces. What you doing here? What you doing here? But this, this is my whole front, almost my whole front row in Florida. Who in Florida tonight? My God, y'all, y'all. Oh, Pastor, Pastor Roker looking for y'all. Pastor Roker, they right here. My God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look here. The ashes are here. My God. Oh, God. I think I, the, the security here. Y'all better lock the door in Florida. My God. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we give God praise. Let's welcome. Let's give God a praise for Florida. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oakland Park Boulevard. 7301 West Oakland Park Boulevard. Let's give God a praise for them. Give God a praise for the Bahamas. Just, just, just hold the music for now. Just hold the music. Give God a praise for the Bahamas. Hallelujah. 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 And Texas and Virginia. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. We have anyone from Texas in here tonight? Any Texans? Any New Yorkers? Wait, Texas. Oh, Texans over here. All right. There you go. Texas is here, New York, I know New York, someplace through here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah, wherever you're from tonight. Any, any people here from Georgia? Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we got Georgia on our mind. And God has Georgia on his mind. Hallelujah. Georgia, this is your time. This is your time. This is your time. Don't you miss your time, amen? Don't you miss your time. Hallelujah. Because see, it start, what started as a revival, hallelujah, it, it's gone beyond revival now. Hallelujah. hallelujah. It's gone beyond, it's an awakening, it's an it's, it's a, it's a uprising. Hallelujah. 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 And now it's turning into a pursuit of God. We are in pursuit of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it's turning into God, so we must get the people ready. Because he's coming. He's coming back. He's looking for, he's coming for his church. Hallelujah. He's coming for his church, his bride, his bride. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And so as I was saying, hallelujah, as I began to put God first in my life and do what God had called me to do, that's when things change for me. Amen. Amen. And that's what God wants to do for you tonight. You got to put him first though. Amen. Amen. You got to put God first. What does that mean? What does it mean to put God first? Anybody knows? What does it mean? What does it mean? Nobody know? Huh? Put him in. I mean, you're not going to like it. So that's a difficult question. Put him, put God before everything. God over everything. Yes. Amen? He got to be first. Now, he don't... He, he don't like when you put him second. He wants he, 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 he want you to put him first. And he said, if you put him first, if you give him and make him number one priority, everything that you need will be added. So I told you, he blessed me with a wife. He blessed me with a nice house. 
He blessed me with nice cars. Hallelujah. Nice cars. Hallelujah. Everything. Everything. Just like he said. Everything. Hallelujah. Was added. So I don't need nothing right now. I know some of you say, look at how this man come up in here and bragging. I'm bragging on God. That's your point. That's your place on the side. You say, I'm bragging on what God did for me. That's all I'm bragging on. Amen. Amen? I don't need nothing. If God never give me nothing for the rest of my life, I'm happy. Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't do nothing else for me, I'm happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he has given me, he has done exactly what he said. Hallelujah. Well, 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 well. I need him to do one more thing. I need him to give me this building. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. That, I, I, need him, I need him to give This is a good building to, to start Believer's Faith, Amen. Georgia, right here. Woo. Anybody believe God could do that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Anybody could stand in agreement that God could do that? You know, when I, when I pull in the yard, I felt the peace of God. I say, this is the, this is the spot. This is the spot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so I, whatever, I need God, whatever I need God to do now is not so much about me, but it's about his kingdom right now. Hallelujah. Everything is about the kingdom of God right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, so let's hold our right arm up and come in agreement that God will make a way and give us this building. We claim this building. In the mighty name of Jesus, we claim it. Jesus. Come on. In Je now, now if, you, if you ain't got no faith, please sit down. Because I need people who have faith. Amen. It's a faith move. It's a faith move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will speak to the owners. He said, the, high, the king's heart is in God's hand. Amen. Father, you squeeze the heart of the owners, of the movers and shakers of this property. Squeeze their heart. And turn them towards us. They will give us access to this building. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now if you believe that, give God a shout. Give God a shout. Give God a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just run. Let me, let me just, let me just let my foot. Anybody feel like running? Woo! Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. No, no, wait. Don't, don't sit down. Put, put, put your right hand up one more time. All the people who are faith, hold your right hand up one more time. You are breathing. You are breathing harder than me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are younger than me. You are supposed to be in shape. Hallelujah. Say, it is done. In Jesus' name. It, bro, you got the wrong hand up on the right. Let's go, bro. Come on, get with the program. We got to be on one accord up in there. It is done in the name of Jesus. It is done in the name of Jesus. It is done in Jesus' name. Now shout, 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 shout. Hallelujah. Woo! In Jesus' name. All right, all right, all right. Hallelujah. So it's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. Amen? It's all about the kingdom. And so, everything that I'm asking God for, you could get that low. Okay. Huh? No? It's anointed. Wherever the sole of my feet and my towel touch, God will give it to us. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we claim it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, brother Timmy, good to see you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so I got to get out of the way. You all just take up all my time. But God is good. 
Put, listen to me, people. Put God first. Make it about God. Make it about the kingdom of God. He say, seek first the kingdom. Right? Where's that from? Matthew chapter 6 and 33. Well, it's, it's, in, it's in the other gospels too, but Matthew chapter 6 and 33. Seek first the kingdom of God. Put God first. Put God first. This is the day that we're living in. God has to be first. Amen? All of your preparation, all of your planning, you got to make it first about God or it will be in vain. If you're, not prepar if you're not preparing for God and to put God first, it is in vain. Hallelujah. It's in vain. Hallelujah. You could be, you're planning this and you're planning that and you're, and you're leaving God out. All of that going to be in vain. Hallelujah. People trying to plan for their wedding. But they ain't get God in the picture. And then they show up to the church. But the bride never came. Hallelujah. The bride never show up. Or the, or the groom never show up. They had a story out in America one, one time. Runaway bride. Did y'all hear about that? She was, a, she, she was in the car driving away from the church. While a supposed to be husband was at the church. Hallelujah. So your, your preparation has to be made around God. Your planning has to be made around God. God wants to be first. That's the only spot God wants in your life. First. So make all of your planning, your preparation, make it about God. Amen? Because when you put him first, I am a witness that he will do what he say. He said, if you put me first, my righteousness, everything that you need will be added unto you. Amen? And I've watched it from, I mean, I've been serving God over 40 years. Amen? Being in, in front line uh, ministry close to 30 years. And I watch it. God just bring it to pass. Everything that I need, everything that I need, God began to work it out in my life. Amen? Everything, everything. Hallelujah. That's why I'm always smiling. I, 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 can't, I don't even know that it is to be mad and sad. Even when I try to be sad, I smile. I wish some of y'all could get that annoying. Some of y'all, when y'all are sad, y'all just look like you. You're ready to shoot somebody. Amen? So I wish I could keep a smile on your face tonight. But I'm trying to show you how to keep a smile on your face. By putting God first. Don't put your trust in man. Don't put your trust. The Bible says some put their trust in horses and chariots and princes. Uh-uh. We will trust in the name of our God. We ain't going to trust in horses and chariots, and man. Can't trust in that. We ain't trusted in, in President Biden and President, who want to be next, uh, come back to President Trump. We, we don't put our trust in them. We got to pray for them. Got to pray for them. Amen? That they make, make the right decision for, for our country. Amen? You have to pray. Uh, amen? So we don't trust in them. Yes, you could vote for whoever you want to vote for. But that don't mean you put your trust in them. Your trust better be in God. Amen? Whoever the governor of Atlanta is and all of the other uh, posts that are, <laughs> whoever they are, you, you may have voted them in, but you don't trust in them. You better put your trust in God. Amen? You better know that it is only God that's going to keep you. Hallelujah. Do you think that when you lay down at home in, at night. Do you think President Biden know your name? Do you think he know where you live? And even if he knew your name, you think he thinking but you right now? He trying to figure out how he, how he could win this next election? 
anything about you. Amen. But God always thinks about you. God never leaves you. He never forsakes you. And he is the only one, you know, he's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's sovereign. So he's everywhere at the same time. So while he's thinking but Paul, he's thinking but Paula. Hallelujah. He, he's the only person being in the world that can do that. The devil can't even do that. Only God could think about all of us at the same time. Paul is going through something. Paul is going through something. Hallelujah. Peter is going through something. Petra is going through something. Princess is going through something. And God got all of that on his mind and he's dealing with all of it one time. One time. Hallelujah. That's why you got to put him first. No, we sing the song, say, all of the other gods, they are the work of man. But only Jehovah God, he is the most high God. And that's the God that we serve. And that's the God you have to put first in your life. Put him back first. Some of you, some of you lost or left your first love. He was first before. But you drifted away. That's why we came to tell you, put God back where he's supposed to be. Hallelujah. You going to leave God for Baba. Now you where Baba is. Baba gone. Or Baba ain't acting right. Amen? Yeah, Baba was not all the good, the right saying when he first came. And so was for you men, so was that lady. Everything, oh yeah, everything was right. And a few weeks down, a few months came, a few years came, and all of a sudden, it wasn't all that you thought it would be. Amen? And you, 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 you stopped coming to church because of them. You left God because of them. Now, they don't disappoint you. But God never disappointed you. God never left you. God still loved you. And he said, come back. Come back to me, all you that are heavy laden, all you that are weak and heavy laden and burdened down with all of the cares of this life and this world. Come to me, come, come. I'm still here with my arms open wide, waiting to receive you back. I still will, I still will forgive you. Even though you left me, I still will forgive you. And I will take you back in. It's time to come back to God. Atlanta, it's time to come back to God. It's time to come back to God. God is calling you to come back. Amen? And we are here to help to sound the alarm. Come back to God. Amen? We are in pursuit. That's what we are we're going after God now. Amen? Hallelujah. We are hungry for God. Hallelujah? Anybody else hungry for God? All right. So let, let, let's go, let's go, let's go on a search for God. Let's go on a seek for God. Amen? Amen. So, uh, uh, one more thing I have to do. I want to give you this opportunity now. Keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling. Keep smiling. Because, you know, when you go down here, people just get serious. Keep smiling. Yeah. See, 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 these people in the front where they know they don't get in their bags. It's time to, to sow. Give you an opportunity to sow. Amen? So when these people say, we ready for you, we're going to be in position to say, okay, let's do this. Hallelujah. So we, we want you to sow. We want you to sow. Uh, everybody ready to sow? Anybody came, every, any, everybody came expecting that, you know, this, this time of the service was going to come to, to sow. Anybody didn't believe he was going to ask for offering tonight? Then come, let me pray for you. Because this is a part of worship. Amen. Giving is a part of worship. Also, giving is one of the ways, one of the only ways in the Bible where God say, you will be blessed. He never said fast, you know, and you're going to be blessed financially. He says, so, give, and it will be given back to you. Luke chapter 6, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, really God's man to sow into your bosom. When you give, when you give, amen, when you give. Now. As you, the ushers are coming through and you're getting your envelope, hallelujah. I don't know why they always wait until I say in this part, they know I'm going to get there eventually. I want, I want those of you that can, 
There are those of you that can. Keep smiling while, smile and write the same thing. Don't get serious with me. Hallelujah. I see some of y'all smile yet. But that's all right. I got to bring prophetess on. Our time is to come on. Hallelujah. I want those of you that can join me and give that thousand dollars, thousand dollars or more, thousand dollars or more. I want you to come and bring that with me. Bring that. Those of you, whoever you are, I know you're here. Amen. A thousand or more. Those of you that can do a hundred or more. Hallelujah. One hundred or more. A thousand or more. Hallelujah. I want you to bring it. I want to touch you. I want to touch you as you release it. Hallelujah. As you release it. And as I touch you, I am touching you that God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. And give you. Harabosa. In the name of Jesus. Success. Grant you success. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout out about. Uh, I shall catch that. Help up. Help up. Help up. Y'all focus on the lady. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you come, hallelujah, we're going to release. Oh, there you go. Hallelujah. My God. Good thing I was nice to you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Success. And, and, and a son, Lord God. Work it out. Work it out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Increase. Increase. In Jesus' name, increase, increase, increase. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rabba Sakata Riboso Toro Robosana. Father, touch her right now. Increase, 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 increase. Bless her. Bless her family. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Since you're already there, I'll touch her. Since you're already there, I'll touch her. Tell her come. Tell her come. Since you're already there. Come, sis. I'll send you already. Come. I'll touch you. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Increase. In you ready for increase? You need increase? In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, do it by now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A thousand, a thousand or more seed. Come. A thousand or more. Hallelujah. We're going to pray and bless. Hallelujah. Father, bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. Increase. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody else with your seed, stand up, stand up. Stand up, we want to bless you. We want to pray over you. Hallelujah. Stand with your seed. Stand with your seed. Let's give. Hallelujah. Listen, if you were listening to the broadcast on Wednesday, we talk about this woman in 2 Kings. How many of you read that? 2 Kings chapter 4. 2 Kings chapter 4. You read the story, the widow. Hallelujah. Her husband had died. She said that the creditors, if you can read it, it's in the Bible. It's in your Bible. The creditors came to take her sons away to work as slaves because her husband had left that debt, that bill that he didn't pay off. So her sons, they, they, in, in those days, whenever you had a bill and you couldn't pay it, they would take your children to work to pay the bill off. Amen? And they, they, they came to take, but she went to the prophet and she said to the prophet, listen, the creditors came to take my sons. My husband is dead. I need a miracle. And the prophet said, what do you have, Elisha? He said, what do you have? What do you have? She said, all I have is a jar of oil, one jar of oil in my house. He said, go and borrow some empty vessels. Go back into your house and take that one jar of oil and begin to pour. And, 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 and he, she, she did what he said. And she began to pour. She began to pour. It's 2 Kings chapter 4. I want you to know so you could go home and read it. This is not a made up story. This is in your Bible. Amen. And as she began to pour, it says that that oil out of that one jar filled up all the empty bins. How much ever empty bins that she borrowed, which was way more than the one gallon of oil that she had, one jar of oil. But the one jar of oil filled all the empty bins. And it never stopped pouring until the bins were filled. As long as there was a next bin, the oil kept pouring. Somebody said, What's this a miracle? That looks like someone that was that's a miracle. That's what that is. Because one, one gallon is not big enough to fill a 55-gallon drum. But this woman, one jar, fill up 
every empty vessel that she brought in that house. Why? Because she brought it to the prophet. And the prophet blessed, told her what to do. And he blessed her. She went, she came back to the prophet. She said, I obeyed you. I did what you said. Now my house is filled with, with gallons and gallons of oil. What am I supposed to do with all this oil? He said, go on now, sell that oil. And then pay off your whole, all of the debts that you have, all of the bills. God will make some people debt free. He will make you debt free. But you, how, how, is, how is it going to happen? Put God first. Put God first. So she, was a, she, she became debt free that day. And then he said, when you don't pay off all your bills, Whatever you have left, you, you and your sons will live on this for the rest of your life. So now that woman went from having one jar of oil to being a millionaire. Not only was she, she, did she pay off all of her bills, hallelujah, but she had it. Okay, you, you say, well, it didn't say she's a millionaire. Okay, how much money do you think you need if you and you have two sons? Now, I didn't say how long she lived, but... He said, as long as you live. How much, you, you think, you think uh, $10,000, you and your son, two sons can live on that for the rest of your life? 100000 you think you and two sons can live on that for the rest of your life? It, it had to be some good money. For them to be able, and he, he said, you will live on this as long as you live for the rest of your life, you and your two sons. So I want you to take, as you take that seed tonight and as you're giving it, I want you to hold that as your jar of oil. This is my jar of oil. Whatever amount it is, this is my jar of oil. If you have faith, if you have faith, the size of a grain of mustard, you could speak to the mountain and make the mountain move. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith. This seed is my faith seed, my jar of oil. And Lord, I believe that as I give this tonight, that you will work a miracle in my finances. You will work a miracle in my finances in the name of Jesus. As I give my seed tonight. Who am I talking to? Who believe it? You got to believe it. You got to believe it. He said, according to your faith. According to who faith? Your faith. It will be done unto who? To me. So if your faith is that, God, that you believe God is going to do it, then that's how God is going to do it for you. Hallelujah. This is, this is my jar of oil. I release it to you tonight. And I'm thanking you for supernatural increase. Supernatural financial increase. I'm thanking you for a supernatural financial miracle. As I release it, all of you on YouTube and on Facebook. As I release it tonight, those of you in, in Florida and in the Bahamas and wherever you are, tune in to us all around the world. Release that seed now. And thank God for your supernatural increase, for your supernatural financial miracle in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. And the ushers will show you how to come. Hallelujah. And you will come and you will release your seed. Hallelujah. Is there anyone with a birthday tonight? Anyone with a birthday in the house tonight? Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, no birthdays in the house. The ushers will show you how to come. And they're going to sing and pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your praise team, you already. Hallelujah. They're going to sing, they're going to play as you give. Come on, give excitingly, give excitingly. Come with a smile. He loves the cheerful giver. And then we're going to be ready for prophets.
All of the villain, let's just begin to pray. Let's just begin to lift your voice and pray tonight. Come on, are there any prayer warriors here tonight? Lift your voice. Let's begin to pray. 
Zabara Tereva Basso Torana, Zarara Bakat, can they hear me? Can you all hear me out there? Lift your voice, let's just pray for a moment. Zababa Shabara Tedera Basa Bakata, Zoro Torobosa Toraba. some warriors to pray and I find some warriors to pray come on get out of your seat move and pray
Send revival, God. Send revival. Send revival. Echo Shabandara. Send a revival, Holy Ghost. Send a revival, Holy Ghost. Let your altar rise. We are in America again. Jakamanda Rabasso to Mokosha. He Kabasanda Nabaya. Let the altar of prayer rise in America again. Let the altar of prayer rise in the church again. Zakanda Rabanda Rebo Shananda Reo Sanda. Rakanabanda Rabashata Rabanda. He Kanabasayabanda Rabashata. Let the enemies of your kingdom be destroyed. Let the enemies of your kingdom be defeated. Shabala makaraba shababa mama shada maya. Robo sabaka rana raba sata. Robo sabaka taraba. Try back the gates of hell. Ishala laba daraba saya. You said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the righteous. He karaba saka laba daraba sata. We cry out tonight, Holy Ghost. We cry out, Diva Shataya. We cry out for revival. We cry out for the spirit of revival to come back into this nation and to come back into the earth. Zakalabarata la Masaya. Rosa Bakala Masaya. Rosa Bakata la Masaya. You said, let the priests and the ministers weep between the porch and the altar. We are hungry for you, God. We are hungry for you. We are hungry for the living God. We are hungry for your presence. We are hungry for your power. We are hungry to see your face. We are hungry to see your glory. We are hungry for you, God. Jabanda raba shanarana, jeketa raba raba karaba shota, jakala ba salaba na mashanda, rosa ba raba sanda raba sata, roko sapa na raba sanda raba ya, hiko shanda raba saya, hiko shaba na raba saya, hika raba sanda raba shete, rosa taraba saya, Holy Ghost. Let there be a stirring in the hearts of the people. Let there be a stirring, oh God. Let there be a stirring. Let there be a stirring in the hearts of the people. Oh God, stir us up to seek you. Stir us up to seek your face. Stir us up, oh God, for your presence. Stir us up for your word. Stir us up, oh God. Hey, hey. 
Let there be a stirring up, oh God. Let there be a stirring up. Bring a rabaka shanda rabasa ya. He karabasa rabaya. He korobo shanda ya. Rasa rabane ya. Go deep on the inside. Take everything out that doesn't look like you. Oh God, take everything out that don't look like you oh God have mercy upon us according to your loving kindness according to your tender mercies blot out our transgressions cleanse us thoroughly from our sins purge us oh God purge out everything that don't look like you purge everything out that don't sound like you Purge everything out uh, that don't act like you. Uh, oh God, uh, to a work in the church again. To a work in the church, Holy Ghost. To a work in the church, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, uh, do a deep seated work. Uh, do a do a deep cleansing work. Uh, do a deep purging work. Uh, oh God, us out, Lord. Uh, God, us out. How we look like you. Uh, Cut us out till we sound like you. Oh God, let the church be purified. Let this be an hour for the purification of the church. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, let this be an hour for the purification of the church. Let the church become purified again in the name of Jesus. Drive out everything, every uncleanliness, every filthiness of the flesh, everything that's not of you, every unclean spirit, every spirit of pride, every spirit of God that comes against you and who you are today. Lord God, in the name of of Jesus let there be a restoration of holiness a restoration of holiness oh God let the spirit of sanctification come back in the lives of your people we cry out for revival. We cry out for revival. We cry out for the spirit of revival to come back into the earth again, to come back into the land again, to come back into America again, to come back into the schools again, to come back into the house, to come back into the Senate. Oh God, from the rooftop, God, down to the ground. To the low places, let the spirit of revival. Let your spirit hit the churches again. Let preachers and pastors and ministers and elders. And, oh God, we need, we need a revival. God, let there be an awakening. Let there be an awakening. Let there be an awakening. There be a Holy Ghost awakening in the midst of all the wars. Let peace rise. Let there be peace, oh God. Let there be deliverance. Let there be a revival of deliverance, of salvation. Hallelujah. Make us hungry again. Make us hungry, Holy Spirit. Somebody cry out and say, God, make me hungry again. Make me hungry for you. Make me hungry for your presence. Yeah. Yeah. Make me 
me hungry for you, God. I cry out for your glory. I cry out for your glory. I cry. I cry out. I cry out. Lord. I cry out.
In the, in the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against my life, no weapon formed against my life. Shall, prosper. shall prosper. Say no weapon, no weapon. formed against my life, no against my life. Shall, prosper. shall prosper. Say every weapon Upon. from the gates of hell, the gates of hell. I defeated in, in the name of Jesus. I destroyed in the name of Jesus. Say every powers of darkness, powers of darkness. Working, against purpose, working against my purpose, working against my purpose, working against my ability. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. Say only the will of God, only the will of God shall come to pass in my life. Only the will of God. 
fire. <laughs> Only the will of God shall come to pass on your life. Only the will, only the will. No other will, no other plans. Come on, open your mouth. Say, only the will of God shall come to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus. Say, say that the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Say, I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. In the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jalakata la basata. Ekarabasata. God say tell you tonight I heard your prayer I heard your cry and I saw what you've been going through he could have between November and now it has been a very difficult season in your life am I talking to you can you hear me can you turn her mic on for me please you can hear me God said from November You've been going through. The season has been a difficult one for you. As I'm going to the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing the Lord, praise God, clearing things out from in front of you. It's like giants were sent to fight you and to fight your marriage, your family, your relationship. Is this true, mommy? I hear somebody name begin with the letter R. The letter R. The letter R. Who is that? That's your friend. When I said you speak to Rose? Last year. Last year. Rose. Which city is she living in though? In Georgia. In Georgia. Because I saw, praise God. Amen. Like an enemy, praise God, rise up. Praise God. Amen. In the midst of this praise God in the midst of your life but I saw confusion coming praise God because some reason you value that friendship am I talking to you yes, uh. yes, prophetess. Yes. and the Lord said I will not have this it's like an arrow was shot against you mama I'm just trying to be nice to you tonight and I'm trying not to speak too much things but you understand exactly what I'm saying because I saw in the realms of the prophetic a spirit of jealousy begin to come against you and you say God where did all of this trouble come from pick her up because I'm not done talking to her and you say God where did all this confusion come from and you say God I didn't ask for this because you're such a nice person and I even saw you helping some people out I saw you even lending I saw you lending somebody some money Am I prophesying to you? Is this true? Because I see the woman is a nice woman. God sent me for you tonight, Mama. He sent me for you tonight. What's your first name? Huh? Sue? Sue or Shu? Sue. Sue to meet you and I had a dream three days ago that you were speaking to me. Here's your dream now. Here's your dream. God is going to deliver you. I come against the attack against your life. I go to the place where your mother was born. I go to that place in the realm of the spirit. I command the idols and the altars of idols and the ancestral curses. Jesus name. Is this the way the church give God praise? Somebody lift your voice like you got power. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lift your voice like you got power. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lift your voice like you got Holy Ghost Hallelujah. power. 
I'm hungry for you, for your glory. I'm hungry for you, for your glory. I'm hungry for you. For your glory, Zandale. Soon, I break the curse from your life. Amen. Where are your children? We live in Georgia. They're at home with, with my husband. They're with your husband. Oh, yes, Where's your family from? Kenya. Kenya. Yes, I break the curse from that place for you. Amen. Zala Marelia. I break it from you. Your life is not over. Your relationship is not over. Amen. Even each one of your children. I don't know who this boy is, but I see in the realm of the spirit. This person wearing like a bow tie. Like a bow tie. Listen okay. what is going to happen. Huh? Christian, I have a son. Your son, how old is he now? He's 11. He's 11. Yes, now, let me tell you about Christian. Is wearing a bow tie. This is what I see. A bow tie. This child is going to be very intelligent. Are you understand me? Regardless of how the enemy has fought him, he's going to be very intelligent. The boy is going to be like he's before his time. I, I see him like a professor. Do you understand me? A genius of sort. And I just, as I'm standing here, I'm just seeing like numbers, numbers, Amen. numbers, like Amen. all sorts of you, calculus, all Hallelujah. sorts of trigonometry, algebra. Like, I'm just seeing like forever huh? yes. numbers. Amen. Amen. Are you understanding? Amen. Amen. It don't matter how the boy was challenged, how the boy was challenged. Yes. The boy will be challenged no more. Amen. God said by the time Amen. he turns into his next birthday, Amen. you're going to see Amen. my hand is upon him. Thank you, Jesus. I touch your husband in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. I deliver him out of all Amen. of his struggles. Amen. And the curses from the place of Kenya. Yes. The spirits that would have followed you from there here. They will follow you no more. I remove the curse. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give God praises. Hey, yeah, yeah, for your glory. I'm desperate for you. For your glory. Somebody praise him. For your glory, Lord. Say, I'm desperate for you. Come on, let me see those hands. I'm desperate for you. For your glory. And I pray for you. I rebuke sickness from your body. I command sickness to go out of your body. I command sickness disease to go out from you. Who are you here with? Who is with you? This, ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. Who is that? Is it you? You. Okay. Okay. Mommy, I rebuke the devil tonight. I take authority over every attack against your life. Did you hear me? In the name of Jesus, I come against stiffness in your joints, stiffness in your muscles, in your hip, your knees, and your back. Is this okay tonight? I speak healing over you. Lift your hands for me. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, let every curse be broken from this woman's life. Let every plague that came against her. Jeniketa namasoto. Jeniketa namasaya. As I touch her, I, I saw like some, somebody's name begin with the letter F. 
F. Kishaba Karabasa. F. Now, but I'm going back to an island. Is your family from Jamaica? Jamaica. Father, in the name of Jesus. Loose this girl. I loose this girl from a childhood. I lose this girl from a teenager. I lose her from everything that strive with her. Everything that strive with her. I lose her from it. I set her free. I speak total liberty to her body. Stand up for me, mama. You heal in the name of Jesus. Do something what you couldn't do before. Bend that back. Do something that you could not do before. I want the Holy Ghost. Have a go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For your glory. Hallelujah. Lift those hands. Say, Lord Jesus, touch me tonight. Deliver me. Out of all my troubles, deliver me. Out of all my struggles, to every curse that's over my life, let the curse be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed. Power the Holy Ghost. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, everything that hindered, take it. Let it be destroyed. Everything that hindered you. God said, I come tonight to destroy it. Everything that was a blockage, that was a hindrance to you. God said, I destroy it. I loose you in the realms of the spirit from the entanglement of bondage. I loose you from it. God said the addiction is not yours. The addiction is not yours. The addiction. <laughs> it don't belong to y'all. <laughs> Fire! The Holy Ghost. Jale. Yeah, 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 yeah. For you in the name of Jesus somebody lift your hand say in the name of Jesus everything from the gates of hell that came to attack my life in the name of Jesus Satan you have no power over me in the name of Jesus I lose you I loose you from your struggle. God is calling your name. He said, I loose you from your struggle, from your bondage. Take the woman up. Is she with you? Do you know that woman? Huh? My wife. Is your wife? God said, I'm delivering you guys out of all your troubles. How are you hearing me? Hey. Out of all your pain. Out of all your wounds. You should not still be together by reason of the gates of hell. Satan has sent an arrow a long time ago to separate this. But God kept it. God kept it. God kept it. God kept it. I see in the realm of the spirit, the angel of the Lord, sorting out some documents with your names on it. And I'm even hearing there's another angel that's saying, I dropped the charges. Jabba Sata! 
Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. God said, I dropped the charges. Take the woman up. God said, I dropped the charges. But I don't know who's Michael. 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 But this word is also for you tonight. Do you know anyone by the name of Michael? Who's that? My first cousin. Huh? My first cousin. Your first cousin. What's your name? Karen. Huh? Karen. Karen. Patrick. Patrick, listen to me. Cause that I dropped the charges I reversed the curse I saw the enemy attack you In your lower back Like I saw like the enemy Like Like attack you In your Lower back And I saw The hands of God Repairing something to do with your lower back coming down to your legs a time ago i don't know if you had a accident or huh yes speak can you turn her mic on can, can, can they turn her mic on just i'm not gonna be long i know the devil is fighting but i just want to do what god will have me to do he's a liar he's defeated i came here tonight for somebody Go ahead, sir. Yes, I had a Christ. Okay, you still can't hear you. Maybe I'll just use my mic. It's okay. Yes, sometimes I can't stand long because my hips right here in the back, it hurts. You had an accident. When did you have the accident? Back in, back in I think it was 93, 94. You had the accident in August of that year. Jerikera Bakarabaseta. August. It was 93. Bakara. It looked like August. Because I saw you, Jenemaka, like I saw you like going to somebody. I don't want to say physical therapy, but I see like somebody trying to work this out for you. And every now and then it locks up. Is this true, sir? Yes. That you cannot stand long. It almost feels like a pinch nerve. Yes. Like a pinch nerve. God said tonight, if you believe this prophet, you will prosper. If you believe this prophet, you'll never have that problem again. Yes. You've been praying for this man and you've been asking God to deliver him. Yes. And God said, tell you, when the apostle laid hands on you yes. right there tonight, God said, that's when I answered your prayer. Hey. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. I give my life to you. Totally over to you. Totally over to you. Forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Save me. Deliver me from every addiction. From every addiction. Drugs, alcohol, everything. Take it out of me. I say, God, if you could do anything with this life, use me for your glory. In Jesus' name. Power! Power! I'm hungry I'm hungry for you I'm desperate for you. Lift those hands if you're desperate for God. I 
Hallelujah. Take them up. Let this man body be healed by the power of the blood of Jesus. Be healed now. Lift the leg. Left, right. <laughs> Left, right. <laughs> Walk out. You are free. You are free. Somebody give God praises. Somebody give God praises. Somebody give glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell the person on the side of you say, God is faithful. God is faithful. Say, no weapon. Form against my life. Form against my purpose. Form against my ability. Shall be able to prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the grace of God. By the mercies of God. I've been set free in the name of Jesus. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. How you feel? Ah, great, great. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm talking about fighting, partying. Yeah. Just everything. Family against me. I, I have I've been confused by the lady spoke to us last Sunday and said there's a spirit of confusion in the house. Oh. We've been through battles since then. We were battling coming here. I didn't even want them here. It's, it's okay. Real. It's your this your heart string. It's your love. You wherever you drop him off, you would have been going right back there to pick him up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but let me tell you something. When God's about to do something great, the devil always knows how to show up. He always knows how to show up. Because he want to he wanna cause you, praise God, amen, to destroy what God is getting ready to do. And I'm just telling y'all, it's over. It's over the the devil <laughs> listen your partying days are over i hope you had a good drink i hope you had a good drink yesterday i hope you had a good smith a good smoke because it's your last one Woo! somebody says your last one oh The last one. God's bringing you all out of all your troubles. God love you so much. God love you all so much. He care about you all so much. It can't be the end. It can only be the beginning. It can only be the beginning. It can only be the beginning. Now you heard what I just told them. Yeah. You heard what I just told them. So it's easy to throw away the towel. Throw in the towel and just walk away. It's easy. Because you, 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 you keep saying, God, I don't know how much more this I can take. I don't know how much more this I can take. I don't know how much more this I can take. And God is saying, you took a lot, even you. You took a lot. You took more than your fair share. You took more than your... And it seemed like... This has been a pattern in your family. But God said, I'm rewriting your entire story. I'm rewriting it. I'm rewriting it. Mark. I'm rewriting it. So throwing in the towel, 
is an easy thing to do, but it will not be the best thing to do. It will not be the best thing to do. God said, because then you would have thrown away years and years and years and years. Years and years. And God said, that's not my will. When the enemy afflicted your body and tried to cause this affliction to come upon you, even before now, you were not supposed to come out of it because even mentally you could not understand it and you could not figure it out and the doctors could not figure it out. Am I talking to the right people? Am I talking to you? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Is this true what I'm telling you? Yes, ma'am. And so it just added to the confusion. It just added to the pain. God said, I connected you to this house to deliver you. And not out of some of your trouble, out of all of your trouble. Do you have children? God said, all. But he's going to start right here. Because the heart needs to heal. It needs to heal. There's some forgiveness that needs to happen. There's some forgiveness that needs to happen. But then he's going to heal you. And he says, as you forgive, he's going to restore you. Is going to restore you. I can see very clear. I can see very clear. I see the bed. I see the pillow. And I see it soak with tears from your eyes. And I hear the fears. And I hear the demons telling you, pack up and go. Pack up. Am I talking to you, mommy? Pack up. And go. And it's just the Spirit of God that was saying, Wait, wait, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna turn it around. That's all I keep hearing the Holy Spirit say. Wait. So tonight, I come to touch you, says God. I come to touch you. I come to heal you in your innermost being. In the name of Jesus. And everything that's been attacking this body, even in your stomach. You serpent attacking this body. You wicked spirit moving in this body. You witchcraft. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Remove your powers. Remove your powers. Go from this girl. Go out. Go out. Even in your dreams, there's been an evil spirit showing up in your dreams. Mama, a witch. Jesus. Jamanda, go. Go. Go out. Go out. Go out in Jesus' name. Go out. Go out in Jesus' name. Out. Out in Jesus' name. Out. Go out in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast you out. Go in Jesus' name. I cast you out of her. Go in Jesus' name. You wicked spirit. Go. Use your powers. Let it go. Out. 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 You serpent, I kill you in this belly. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy you in this belly. destroy in Jesus' name. Take your powers out. Vomit out. Out in the name of Jesus. I destroy your kingdom in this body. I destroy your kingdom in this body.
out. Every charm projected to this body, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord. I loose you from this woman's life. Every demon that come in the dream to torment her. Come no more. No more. Come no more. No more in Jesus' name. I prayed for you last week. Huh? Jamaka. Let the confusion be no more. Jesus. Confusion be no more. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus oh. name. Go. Go out in Jesus' name. Go out. Jesus. Take her up. Father, let the harassment be no more. Every abuse of every kind, every abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical, every abuse. God is joined together, let no man and let no demon put asunder. I tie a golden cord around you in the realm of the spirit. I tie you. Jesus I pack you to Egypt. Jesus Christ. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you. For your glory. Hallelujah. Somebody should give Jesus a mighty praise right there. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I deliver you out of all your troubles. I deliver you out of all your pain. Somebody praying for George? George. George. Jiri me kitaraba saya. Allah was praying, I heard the Lord. Say, pray for George. Wherever you are tonight, whoever's believing God for a miracle in George's life, I speak total healing. I speak total deliverance. I speak to, that the hand of God will touch his life. Will touch your lives. Yes, I also feel inclined to play for a McLean. 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 Your name is McLean. McLean. And I know we have a large audience and even some people are on different platforms, social media, whatever it is tonight. I just have to obey the spirit of God. I speak total deliverance in the name of Jesus. McLean, wherever you are listening to me tonight, God loves you. God cares everywhere about you. God said, tell you a new day is dawning for you. Your season of change has come. 
George Buffett, she's been praying for George, and he's actually on the phone right now. George? Yes, ma'am. Is this yes, true? Yes, yes. Who is George to you? He's a um, co worker that I used to work with, and um, I've been praying for him to get his life, you know, saved, because he's been going through a lot. Uh huh. And um, I've been just praying that God would deliver him and just he would give his life to Jesus. Praise God. George, you don't have any children, he's not married, and I'm like, something is off. Yeah. Praise God. And, jo and you were praying for George. For him for months. My God. Months. Thank you, Jesus. He's on the phone. Mm -hmm. Praise God. George. Hallelujah. Put the speaker on. Your name is George. God bless you. George, I want, the Lord just spoke to me to pray for you. And I had no idea that your friend here has been praying for you. And the Lord just called your name to me. And she stepped forward and says she knows a George. So I want to pray for you. Is it okay that I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus. Zavola Bakare Sata. I break the curse off of his life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of hindrance, everything that came to block George and to cause George to be on a delay system, I loose it from him right now. I command it to be loose from him right now. Every curse from his mother's house, every curse from his father's house, every serpent that has been wrapped around his life. George, I loose you in the name of Jesus. I come against every spirit of stagnation, every perverse spirit, every marine spirit, every demon that comes to you in the dream to pervert your purpose, sir. I loose you from it right now. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I touch your friend for you. Jesus, be free in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Jesus. Somebody give God a mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody Hallelujah. give God a praise. Hallelujah. I say clap and give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's called, amen, deliverance by way of contact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. By point of contact. There was a man, he came to Jesus. He said, my servant is homesick. Jesus said, let's go to your house. He said, ah, hold on. Hey, I, <laughs> no, you can't come. He said, just say it in a word. And Jesus said it in a word. Amen. By the time the centurion got home, the servant that he left half dead was up cleaning and cooking. Right. Somebody say, glory. glory! Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody tell the person on the side of you, said, I'm hungry for God. I'm hungry for God. I'm hungry for God. I'm hungry for God. Tell the next person, say, I am hungry for God. I am hungry for God. I am so hungry for God. I am so hungry for God. Whatever God tells me to do, whatever God tells me to do, I am going to do it. I am going to do it. I am so hungry for God. I am so hungry for God. That whatever God tell me to do, whatever God tell me to do, I shall obey it. I shall obey it. For you. you. Let me see those hands. Come on. A 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell the person that said, I'm very hungry for God. I'm very hungry for God. <laughs> I'm looking for someone tonight. You are from a place like it begins with the letter C. You're from a place. It looks like an island. I don't know if it's Cayman Island. But I see like the letter C. I want you to hear me carefully. I don't even know if this is for this moment. And I don't know if it's not, the Lord will tell me. But I'm seeing like somebody, and maybe you're watching, but you're from a place, it begins with the letter C. It looks like Cayman Islands. Why am I saying this? It's like Cayman Islands. Cayman. Huh? Caicos? Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. How long ago were you from there? Many years. Many, many, many years. Many, many years. I'm looking for something. Were you involved in a church there? Yes, my mom is a pastor. Your mother is a pastor. Is the church near the water? We don't, we're not that far from the water. Water. I'm looking for someone. I need to look for someone. Were you married? Are you married? I was married. You was married. Professor. I'm looking for this because I saw a ministry and I saw it on an island surrounded by water. And I saw the letter C. And I saw during a service, like there was a conference or a read something, and there were teachers. Teacher, teacher, who's a teacher? Oh, my sister's a teacher. A teacher. Come on, Professor. Professor. And then I saw a teacher, but then I saw. Where a woman got up and spoke, then a man got up and spoke. But then I saw the boy became afflicted. Oh, 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 oh. I have a brother who is paralyzed. He's paralyzed. Uh huh. And who is this? He's my son. Your son? Yeah. He's also paralyzed. Are you understanding? Yes. In a different way. Yeah. So, Kekos, Kesaya. What they did was they took the boy and they passed him through the carcass of a dead fish three times three times the adversary of your mother in that place perform a ritual a witchcraft against your mother and then they repeated it again against you are you understanding it's chase that man away and it chase this man away and it injured the boys are you understanding anything yes my um when i was pregnant Yes, mommy. And I always believe that my husband and his sister afflicted him when I was pregnant. There was a man yes. and there was a woman. My husband and his sister. Shh, the woman took the boy 
and pass it through the fish. The corpse of a big fish. Three times. One, two, three. She pushed it through the mouth of the fish and brought it through the bones of the fish and they did it three times. Are you hearing me? Because I'm in an island in the realms of the prophetic and the island is surrounded by water. Are you understand me? The church, the church, it was there. And the church, even the church has gone through so much struggles. There was a season when the church was like it was really doing good. Is this true? Yes. But then the church is like it's being stripped like up. It's just everything is scattered. Everybody's gone. Because I saw the woman sitting there by herself. And I saw this woman by herself. They put it through the mouth of a fish. It's a marine spirit. This is not the story of your children. It's a spirit from the gates of hell. It's a marine spirit from the water. I command it to loose them in the name of Jesus. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out. Loose up. Loose up. Loose up. Loose up. In the name of Jesus. Go out of her. 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 Get out. 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 Turn over. Give her rain spirit. You spread a witchcraft. Loose her mother. Loose her. Loose her brother. Loose. Loose them. Zoba In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I reverse that ritual. I reverse that curse. In the name of Jesus. I set that family free. Jesus Christ, I break the powers of bondage in the name of Jesus. from all of their lives. I call them out of bondage. I call them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, be free in the name of Jesus. Now may the judgment of God be upon those witches. I said, let the judgment of God be upon those witches anyone that's fighting you that's fighting your children that's fighting your purpose that's fighting your purpose that's fighting your destiny in the name of Jesus 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 be healed be healed be healed be healed Be here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be loose. Be set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness come out of this family. Every sickness go out. I curse cancer to the root. It will not bear fruit. It will not bear fruit. It will not bear fruit. In Jesus Christ's name, Jesus Christ. be healed. Be free. Be free. Be free by the blood of Jesus. Let everything regulate in this body. And in this family, you're not at your end, you're at your beginning. Let the stripes of Jesus do in you. Let the blood of Jesus do in you what nobody else can do. Did you hear me? It's done. Have faith in God, mommy. Have faith in God. You have nowhere to go. 
peace. Hallelujah. Is there any communion here? Any communion is here? Fergie, any communion here in the bookstore? I want everyone to do me a favor. On Sunday morning, I want to, I want you to get the water from the bookstore and I want you to bring the water with you on Sunday morning. At least three bottles from out there, if you can. Because I see some of your bodies and I know that the, the blood of Jesus never loses power. Hallelujah. Sunday morning will be a, a, water, a water deliverance and impartation service. Everybody bring the water with you. If there is communion out there, hallelujah. Those of you that are sick, I need you to make sure you get the communion and bring it with you from out there. If they have it out there, praise God. On Sunday morning, in particular, that lady, she needs to take the communion for seven days. Seven days, Papa. Is your wife? Beautiful. God love you all. She's been suffering a lot. I prayed for her before. Yeah. So, in the name of Jesus, Mommy, take up. You're free tonight. Hallelujah. If you can get the water, bring it with you on Sunday. I'm going to pray over a few bottles of it for you. And I also want you to get the oil. I want you to anoint your son. Praise God. Hallelujah. Anoint him with the oil. Just put a little bit on your hand and put it on his head. And just say, in the name of Jesus, I already declare he's free. And this boy is not retarded. He is not crazy. He's, he's very sensible. It's a, it's a marine spirit. Listen what happens. They take their mind and they're using the mind somewhere else. You see autism, all of these, they take the mind and they take it and they carry it and they're using it somewhere else. When I was pregnant, my husband used to scan my ultrasound and send it to his sister. Yeah, it's a man I saw and a woman. Mommy, did you tell me this story? Huh? No, I didn't. So Jesus told me. I just saw this island and it had the big C on top of it. Caicos Island. It's where you were born. May God deliver you, your mother, your brother, this child. God has let the judgment of God go to those wicked people. Let the judgment of God go to them. Listen to me, people. A lot of people don't like to hear me say things like that. But when you know that you're supposed to be further than where you are, and people getting away with murder. My God. I ain't got, you ain't got to be, no blood got to be on your hand. You just got to say, let the judgment of God. Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and say, let the judgment of God. 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 Let the wrath of God. Let the wrath of God. Be upon my enemies. Be upon my enemies. Be upon my adversary. In the mighty name of, the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands and give God a yeah. shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the judgment of God, let the wrath of God be upon your enemies. The thing is, when God judge your enemies, the judgment is sure and it is secure. Nobody does it like Jesus. I said nobody does it like the Lord. Is this true? Prophet. He does it well done. So God is doing it and he's doing it on your behalf. Clap your hands one last time and give him praise. Is that your best clap? Is that your best shot? Is 
at your best. Deliver this man. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let only the voice of God speak to you. Don't let any other voice speak. You have to be careful for that. When I looked at you, I saw like other voices trying to speak to you. Be careful of that. And be careful of it. That's what I hear the Lord say. Tell her to be careful. So many different voices. And you, you, let me tell you guys something. Do not ever say God say if it was not God. Amen. 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 Are you hearing? Yes, prophet. Yes, ma'am. Don't ever say God say if God didn't say. If he didn't speak to you, be silent. If he didn't speak to you, wait. Don't ever say God say. And he didn't say. You will be in trouble. Wait on God. Be of good courage. He will direct your path. He will strengthen your hand. Wait, I say. On the Lord. The fire of God is very intense. And there will be days you will encounter this fire. In this revival, some people, it will burn on the inside of you. Some people, it will burn on your shoulders. Some people, it will burn on top of your head. Some people, it will burn. But Jeremiah said it was like fire. It was like fire. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, I cannot explain everything right now. But I can tell you all what is happening in the realm of the Spirit is about to hit America like fire. Yeah. Hallelujah! Yeah, 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 yeah! The unquenchable fire! Holy Ghost! Fire of the Lord! Somebody praise Him! Come on! Unquenchable! Holy Ghost! Is a fire! Hallelujah. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Tell the person on the side you say it's unquenchable fire. Tell the next person say it's the unquenchable fire. Say that's the fire of God. Find somebody else saying, guess what? The fire on this altar will never go out. Will never go out. Will never go out. Quench your blood So God be all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. The fire of God is on this altar. Watch her. Watch these people. Watch her. Watch her. 
Watch up, watch this moment. Shut up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Somebody said fire. 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 You can't fight it. You can't contain it. It's fire. Oh God, oh God, <laughs> somebody say fire revival America, it's happening, it's happening, they can't stop us, miracle man, they can't stop us, yeah. they can't stop us, Hallelujah. they can't stop us, Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it keeps on going. Amen. I'm going to just bless everyone tonight. In the name of Jesus, yes. revival is happening. Amen. It's because you prayed for it. Hallelujah. You asked for it. Yes. And we came. Uh, we lived up to our promise. My God. It's been several weeks and yes. we still have. Hallelujah. Tell the person you ain't seen nothing yet. I've seen nothing yet. The best is still yet to come. The best is still yet to come. Still yet to come. Still yet to come. Hallelujah. It's still yet to come. So be encouraged. Amen. Be encouraged. Yes. Where's your boyfriend? <laughs> tell him I asked for him. Yeah, tell him I asked for him. I'm, I'm not insulting you. I, I, that's what I just kind of joke around. He's your man friend, boyfriend, whatever you want to call him. He's your good friend. God loves all of you tonight. Listen to me. I'm not out of the anointing. I'm not out of anything. I just know that God is starting something great in you. Listen to me. If you're not saved, if you're not born again, I'm going to give you 10 seconds shoot your hand up and say prophetess I want to give my heart over to the Lord 10 seconds Jesus is coming again that war that you see brewing out there if we don't pray you will discover that we're caught up in an all out war Iran Israel Russia all of these nations are warring and people are going to want to know God I'm counting to 10 1 Stick your hand up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hallelujah. Make your way to this altar quick. You just lift that hand. You want to be born again? Come on, quickly. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Come on, let me hear you. Woo. Come live in me Lift those hands Oh my life Take, Take over Come on and breathe in me God Come breathe in me And I will rise And I will rise If you just lift your hands Come on Hallelujah Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Save me right now. Deliver me out of all my sins, out of all my troubles. Say, I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. You rose again from that grave. Right now, I believe. Right now, I believe. I receive, I receive you as Lord, as Lord. Savior of my life. Savior. And a touch, touch them, touch them, touch them. Give God praise, saints. Give God praise. I set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let them be free forever. In the mighty name of Jesus.
be free forever. Somebody give God a praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, as a short prayer, that's just the beginning of your walk with Jesus. But I wish you would come to church again. Tomorrow is training for raining. If you could come tomorrow, please come. Amen. For training for raining is 10 a.m. It's a powerful session. Amen. I'm going to be ministering again. And then Sunday morning is, is our church service right here in the same auditorium, 10 a.m. on Sunday. Will you all come back to church? Will you all come back to church? Hallelujah. Can you guys give them a Bible for me? Give all of them a Bible. It's free. Amen. And then help them to grow in the Lord. God bless you all. Give God a praise. God bless you. Congratulations. Let your struggle be over. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lose this woman from out of all of her trouble, out of all of her pain, out of all her afflictions, out of all of her shame. Let the day be the day of her. Turn around! Turn around. Turn around. I subvert that accident. In the name of Jesus. And you ain't who the devil say you are. Did you hear me? You ain't who the devil say you are. I set you free in your mind. In your thoughts. You will not go back the same way you came. But you will go a different way. And that's the way of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. God bless all of you. Congratulations. Just give them a Bible for me. Let's give each one of them a Bible. Thank you. God bless you. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Those of you that are very serious about your Christian walk, you'll be here tomorrow. You'll be here tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Praise God. I mean, the doors open from 8. You'll be here. It's training for raining. I teach you about deliverance. I teach you how to walk and live victorious. I'll teach you how to understand how to get answers to your prayer. Praise God. Amen. And praise God. I'm going to show you some things that's going to help you to live victoriously in this life. Praise God. Jesus said, occupy till I come. Yes, Jesus is coming soon. But you need to know how to live. Praise God. Victoriously. So may the Lord bless you. May he bless you. May he bless you. If you are a college student, praise God. If you're in college or university student, please see them in the lobby. Amen. I want to be a blessing to you so that you can come to training for reigning. If you're a high school or college student, I want to be a blessing to you in the lobby so that you can also come in the session tomorrow. Is that okay, everyone? Yeah. Amen. So may God bless you. Thank you to all my partners for standing with me and, and standing with Apostle and I. And even those of you that stood with me to even allow and to give scholarships to some people even that are not working and like college students, etc. I love all of you tonight. May the Lord bless you. I want you all to pray. People, we came. We're here. I want you to just do us a favor. Take advantage of every opportunity to make your way to this altar. Take advantage of every opportunity to come to this altar. As long as this door is open and we're in here, you come and you bring your family. God's going to bless you. He's going to deliver you. He's going to set you free. So we love you. Until tomorrow morning, amen. And tomorrow and Sunday, we look forward to seeing you. Viewers all over the world, we love you. Revival, fire, revival America is happening here. And it's happening now. May God bless you. All men, let me see your hand if you're a man. Hey, we need your help after this session, right? But God bless you. We love you on behalf of Apostle. Can we appreciate God tonight for our Apostle? Let's give God praise for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you.
Dr. Maddie Nottage's training for reigning school of deliverance for prophetic seers and warriors is back. April 20th to the 21st, 2024. It's time for the next level, next level demonstrations, next level deliverance, next level revelations, and much more. Topics include breaking curses, defeating witchcraft spirits, the gift of prophecy, interpreting dreams, and much more. So this fella, he looks like a warrior. He looks like a soldier. Ah, he looks like he's fully ready, eh? Hey, I am ready, mustache and all. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to do something. I've got my bullets. I got my weapon. And what the Spirit of God is saying now, He say, you can look clad and dress all you want. You better make sure that somewhere in this pants or in this underpants, there's a gun, a grenade, or a stick of dynamite. Because as soon as the enemy see you looking like this, as soon as the enemy see you looking like this, they come under fire on you. Training for reigning is online via Zoom for registrants anywhere in the world. However, you can attend in person at our Georgia, South Florida, and the Bahamas campuses. Those in the Georgia area can attend at the Legacy Center 3015RN, Martin Street, East Point, Georgia 30344, USA. Visit our website at www.maddynottage.org or call us at 1-888-825-7568. Lead Lecturer, Dr. Maddie Nottage is ready to impart and empower you. Online registration is available for international students. It's time to become spiritually equipped for battle. Register now. You don't want to miss this. Dr. Maddie Nottage's training for reigning school of deliverance for prophetic seers and warriors, April 20th to the 21st, 2024.